Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Colleen and in this video, I wanna explain to you and discuss all the benefits I've personally gained from doing alternate day fasting. Alternate day fasting is a pattern of eating every other day. One day you eat, one day you don't. And amazingly, it comes with so many solutions to a lot of our problems. And feel free to Google and research scientifically based documents. I am not a medical professional. I am not a licensed anything. I'm just a girl who lost weight on ADF. So number one, I lost 67 pounds. Uh, to this point, it is currently February, 2022. And to date from April, 2021, I have lost 67 pounds and that's a big freaking deal because I never thought like I could ever get back to the 170s and the last time I was 170 anything I was maybe 23 and I'm currently 32. The thing about losing that weight is it wasn't hard. I won't say it was easy because fasting an entire day it's it's a mental challenge but it wasn't hard. Like all I had to do was make it through the day and I was usually guaranteed weight loss by the end of the month. That's how I was able to keep at it. Uh, the results just kept showing up and once you see results, you're going to stay motivated because you'll love it. How many times have we done things that we've put our all in, our 100% all into to just reap minimal results? It's unfortunate. In this program, you're able to eat what you like, eat when you like, and give yourself a break and lose weight. If you ask me, it's effortless. I was able to lose 67 pounds. I am on my way to 170. That is my goal. Yeah, I'm very proud of myself. That was one part of my life that I didn't think I could control was my weight, like finally getting my weight intact. And now that I've done so, I feel like I can accomplish anything. Another benefit that I've noticed is that I have actually less oily skin. Crazy. Um, your insulin is now more level. And on alternate day fasting, if you're diabetic, if you have high blood sugar, um, fasting is wonderful for you. But always go to your physician to double check, but fasting is a wonderful way to regulate high insulin. But due to insulin being regulated, your skin apparently gets more clear, more even, you know, sugar affects skin a lot. And when your insulin is regulated, clearer skin, less oily skin. I thought I was just because I was getting older, but it just turns out that alternate day fasting has really given my skin a new life. This is really some of the clearest, creamiest skin I've experienced in my life, and I love it. On top of that, alternate day fasting also slows down aging because now the body is in repair mode. It's able to repair cells while the body is not in digestion or uh, nutrition absorption mode. If you Google um, autophagy, that's when... Um, the cells are able to start repairing and doing the work it's supposed to do, it does slow down aging. You will look more youthful. ADF has a lot of skin benefits, if you can see. Yeah, um, some of the clearest skin I've experienced. Number three is muscle definition. You get the bombest. <laughs> the bombest. Yes, my grammar is bombest. Um, muscle definition while doing alternate day fasting, okay? You know why? Because when you're fasting well over 24 hours, which is alternate day fasting is about a 36 hour span. But when you go over 24 hours of fasting, the body really starts tapping into those fat stores for energy. And when you do that, eat away at those fat cells, Ooh, guess what's gonna pop? what's underneath and that's why I say please please strength train so when the fat is eaten away you'll have that beautiful definition underneath ready to just ready to right on you my muscle definition is just popping like you all say I look so toned yeah it's my workout 
but it's really alternate day fasting. I'm naturally athletically built. Um, in addition to my exercising and my workouts, I just, I look like a statue. Like, I love it. <laughs> Your muscle definition for men, you will have abs. For women, you will have you know, those cuts in your legs and it's like your arms and your shoulders are just going to be more defined. It will just be beautiful. Um, strength training and alternate day fasting, best friends, best friends. Number four, flat tummy. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so excited. You are going to have an awesomely flat tummy while alternate day fasting. I don't know what to say about your loose skin. That's another story. I have loose skin, so I'll probably never have the ultimate flat tummy. But the muscle underneath, like if I grab away the loose skin, she's flat. She's flat. Your waist is going to be like this as a woman. For men, you will achieve abs, finally. It's, it's a delicious, it's a delicious side effect. Because once again, the body is tapping into those fat stores. And um, that visceral fat, that fat around the midsection, super unhealthy, very unhealthy. And if you are looking to eat away at belly fat, alternate day fasting is the way to go. Fasting in general, but you know, since I'm an ADFer, uh, I love, I love what alternate day fasting does for my waistline. It never fails. It does this. If I had a weekend and I was eating for a couple of days, right? And my stomach got bloated or, you know, I put on some like, you know, pudginess. If that's the, the Saturday and the Sunday I'm eating, on the Monday I'm fasting. When I wake up Tuesday, she's back. So if you're preparing for a night out, vacation, if you're preparing for a special occasion, alternate day fasting is a wonderful way to snatch the waistline. It gives me shivers. I love it. This is like, I have abs, y'all. Abs. <laughs> so number five is emotional self-awareness. I first noticed after I ended my old relationship last year, right, is when I did a lot of self-discovery and I started journaling. When I started journaling, and I'm always going to preach to you the benefits of journaling. If you turn on one of my videos, you will most likely hear me talking about journaling because I've never seen something so simple yet effective. When I started journaling, all of my feelings, all of my issues, my problems, how my day was, who's bothering me. Just from journaling, right? I realized, I realized I wasn't turning to food as much. How long it took me to realize, I don't know. But one day I was like, wait, I don't, I don't eat as much as I used to. And that's how I knew a lot of emotional eating was occurring, like more than I knew. And so in conjunction with alternate day fasting, right? We're stripping away all the blankets, so to say, that cover the emotions we aim to hide. We aim to run from. Taking away your comfort, which is food, you have no choice but to address your issues. And now I'm so self-aware. I am so self-aware. This whole channel focuses on self-awareness, even more than self-love, because you cannot love who you do not know. You have to know yourself, brutal honesty. When we take away the food, and start seeing what our triggers are, what our stressors are, what our cues are, we can start healing. And this is beyond just looking good. This is beyond that. Even past health, we need up here right. Because all of this, your body is a reflection of your mind. More often than not, trauma is shown physically. A lot of times. There's no more buffer now you have to strip away the food and now you got to get real what's going on with you what's happening how can we address what's going on and that's what i noticed doing adf i love it i love it because as soon as i feel the urge to eat right on my fast day if i feel the urge to eat i immediately immediately what what's happening here what's going on what am i thinking what's what am i feeling immediately 
a lot of us would be like, I'm just going to eat some pretzels. What does that solve? What does that solve? If I feel like, okay, why am I feeling this way? Okay, I'm stressed. Okay, I'm editing and I don't want to. Maybe I should take a step back. It's just that simple. You're, I'm pushing through something I don't want to do right now. And I'm causing stress on myself. And then I'm triggering myself. Like, so I, I love that I am super self-aware now. It's just a wonderful benefit. I can't see how you cannot grow from doing doing alternate day fasting. It's just a wonderful opportunity for self-growth. You know, I've learned to say no during alternate day fasting. I used to feel like ashamed telling people, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not eating today. I'm fasting, what? <laughs> Who's gonna check me? Say I'm I'm fasting. I've, I've had someone comment like, oh, you know, what do I say? I'm fasting. Because if you say, I'm not eating today, or uh, people are going to be like, oh, come on, eat. It's okay to say no, because a lot of a lot of emotional eating is caught up in codependency. And codependency are traits where we're aiming to please others, serve others. Let's cut that off. And start pleasing and serving ourselves so we're not pouring from empty cups, okay? We're learning self-discipline. We're learning to create boundaries. We're learning how to love ourselves, right? We're learning who ourselves are and what we can do to make ourselves better. If you're looking for a year to be the best you, right now and right here is the time to do it. Please do not just see alternate day fasting just for weight loss. It is so much more. And I realized that very quickly. Number six, I started listening to my body. I was able to listen to my body. And when I say I listen to my body, that means I just like intuitively ate now. And I always heard about that and saw women doing that online. And I was like, really, you're gonna eat until you're satisfied and then stop? What's that? It's a real thing. It's, it's crazy because I was a binge eater. If it's on my plate, I'm finishing it. If there's more in the bag, I'm going for it. If I'm full, I'm gonna eat until I'm stuffed. Now I just eat until I'm satisfied and I can push the rest away. I could put it away for tomorrow. If you hate to see food waste, put it in the fridge, put it in the microwave, save it for later. It's okay. It's gonna still taste great. Or if it's scraps, throw it away. The children in Africa are not gonna mind because they don't want your scraps. You saving that, thinking about the children in Africa does not help them and it's not gonna help your waistline. But yeah, listening to your body is a benefit that I achieved. Um, you know, I started realizing real hunger. I know what real hunger feels like now. Like, oh, okay, it's time to eat for real, for real. On fast days, I'm good. I, I can't even tell you the last time I've been hungry. I know what hunger, like real hunger feels like and I haven't even experienced that like for a long time because I, I, know, I know what my body is feeling now. Some people don't even know what hunger feels like. No, like hunger. Like, oh my God, please feed me hunger. Like, oh, you have a piece of broccoli? I'll take it, hunger. Do you know what real hunger feels like? If you if you don't know hunger, for one, you're blessed. What what a beautiful blessing to not know what hunger feels like, right? But listening to the body is just a wonderful byproduct of alternate day fasting. We're tapping in, we're tuning in to ourselves. That was a big thing for me. I was ignoring all my bodily cues and going past the brink, going past the threshold. Now I respect my body. I respect it. I respect my body now. So number seven benefit of alternate day fasting is appetite regulation. I've read so many comments from you all saying how, you know, my appetite has decreased so much and um, I'm already breaking the binge cycle. This is already one and two weeks into it. Can you, do you know how amazing that is to know that food no longer controls your being? 
you're in control. A lot of the time the mind controls us and it's supposed to be we control the mind. Appetite regulation from alternate day fasting is just incredible. And what happens is your stomach shrinks. Your stomach is a muscle that can expand and contract. And because we're constantly eating, and if you're a binge eater, you're constantly overeating, the stomach will stretch out to well beyond the size of a football. And it takes a lot of food to fill that overexpanded stomach, thus gaining more weight. So on fast days now, that stomach is able to have a break and contract and even go back to normal. Normal, typical, average, right? Because what is normal? You're able to have regular portions, satisfying regular portions. Like, like you're able to eat like the people that you see next to you and feel as satisfied as them. It's like it's like when you climb a mountain and you just stick a flag on the top, like, I'm here, I made it. And that's why um, in my FAQ video, people ask like, do I have to do alternate day fasting for the rest of my life? You do not have to do alternate day fasting for the rest of your life. No, I would never say that. Do alternate day fasting until you get to your goal, right? And then you can either A, throw in one to two fasting days a week, that cuts out two to 4,000 calories out of your weekly total, thus maintaining the weight you've reached. Or you can be, which is amazing, now have normal calorie days, which is if you take a weight loss calculator, right? A calorie calculator, and it says you need to be at 1,800 calories per day to maintain this weight, you can do that. You're no longer worried about hitting 25, 3,000 calories because 2,000 calories is now satisfying to you. You understand? You see what happens there? So whether you want to still incorporate fasting into your life, that's one thing. But you have the option to just eat regularly now. Just a normal, satisfying daily portion of calories and live your life. Okay, so number eight is you have a greater appreciation for food. I remember I used to watch what I eat in a days, like on my fast days, because I was bold like that, like bold. But the what I eat in the days that I was attracted to, it wasn't like the pizzas and the pastas and, you know, those kind of things. It was like, for some reason, I always craved a big fat bowl of oatmeal with peanut butter and berries in it on my on my fast days and I was like oh I can't wait to wake up and eat that I wanted a big fat bowl of salad with some bacon bits on it like and the creamy avocado and some Caesar dress like those were the things I started craving on my fast days yeah I would see like a Burger King commercial and be like oh that's that looks good because it does but I craved I craved health and alternate day fasting, because you essentially think you're hungry, you start wanting pure foods because instinctually you just want to survive at that point. When you're not hungry, you start craving man-made stuff, right? The processed foods and the, the artificials and the sugars and the sweets and all of that. But when you start fasting, you start to crave real whole foods. I did. I I craved real whole foods. And then when you start, when you break your fast, when you decide to break your fast with your first meal or whatever, that meal is going to taste better. You're even going to cook or make that meal with way more love because there's now an appreciation because you're not getting it so often. When you're overexposed to something, we lose, we take it for granted. We take those things for granted. So let's strip away your convenience, your super access to food, and let's see how you're going to treat your food now. You're going to give you're going to give it way more attention. You're going to make sure your your meats are well seasoned. Not that you didn't before, but now she needs to taste more. You might even lower your salt intake because it might be too salty for you. 
You might watch how much creamer you pour because that's way too sweet for you. Your taste buds are very attuned to too much now because when you had so much access, you've it's, it's essentially been deadened. You know, it's been overwhelmed with um, artificial preservatives and artificial flavorings and um, excess sugars and excess salts. So alternate day fasting is a beautiful way to just start being thankful for the food you do have. If you're spiritual, now is the time to start saying grace over your food because this is a special moment now. This is not like I just have access all the time. This is now, a spe this is a moment and really understand the value of the things we start putting into our bodies. We start even like looking to more greens we start thinking about organic more like, oh yeah, on my fuel days, on my feast days, I wanna take the time to refuel with something more pure, organic. You start looking into more smoothies. I love nourishing myself on feast days. I drink green juices. I have all the supplements, all the supplements. And I'm gonna do a supplement video for you because you all ask me so much. I love supplements. It's like after my bath and body stuff that's my second largest collection i collect supplements and lastly my last benefit of alternate day fasting being an adfer gave me heightened confidence whoop, whoop. why why wouldn't it look how many things i've listed before it of course you're going to get heightened confidence because <sighs> Alternate day fasting has for me, as I've consistently said, alternate day fasting is way more than just physical. The emotional benefits, the mental benefits, the transformation inside and out, health-wise, mentally, and just all over general well-being. You move different. Of course, you're going to move different after a 70-pound weight loss, girl. But you can lose all the weight you want, right? Just like, a, take for instance, a VSG. No offense, VSGs is the way to go if you feel that you need medical help. The thing is, up here didn't change. And what did I say? The physical will always be a visual representation of your mental. So when you start knowing who that you are self-awareness brutal honesty brutal honesty with yourself from tapping in we're journaling now we're understanding what is our stressors what is our cues we're learning how to say no and we're learning to create boundaries we're standing up for ourselves because we cannot pour from empty cups right that has no choice but to lead you to being more confident confident in your decisions confidence in your life choices confident in your path that you know you need to walk if a job is no longer serving you you can be like wow this job makes me feel awful it makes me want to eat the entire box of cereal now that you have no cereal to eat what are you going to do about that are you going to stay in that horrible job that literally is making you ill or are you going to start hey i'm i'm worth more than this i'm going to leave that damn job you're going to feel more beautiful you're going to feel more handsome. You're going to carry yourself differently. And that's the confidence that alternate day fasting has brought me. But really tapping in to self-awareness so you know why you do the things you do and correcting it, the world better look out for you. You better find your value quick because they're not going to know what to do with you. you t you're too bad for me. You're too bad for me, baby. You're too... Look at you. Look at you blowing up. You don't have to credit me. It's all in you. It's been in you. I just, it's just a little guidance. I'm holding your hand. I'm holding all of your hands. That's it. Those are my top benefits of alternate day fasting. Only God brought me this program. Somebody tried to tell me to take God out of my content. No. To all those who are thinking of making the transition to alternate day fasting, I'm rooting for you. Keep the comments coming. Encourage one another. Root for each other.
This is a community, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can reach more people. Your loved ones can see this. Feel free to share it. I believe in you. I'm trusting you not to give up. And if you do give up, I hope you get back on, right? Because we have so much work to do. And it starts with day one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.